सो लेट डिस्कस फ्यू केसेस एंड दिस कंसेप्ट विल बी मोर क्लियर बिकॉज सी बिफोर इनिशिएटिंग एन अप्रोच लाइक वॉट टू सी इन द पेशेंट इट इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू शुड लेबल यू शुड डायग्नोज and to diagnose you should know the normal then only you will be able to say that okay this is abnormal and this patient i will treat as diabetes right so coming to few cases let's these are practical cases which you will see day to day your clinical practice so we have here 45 year male who got his blood sugar random blood sugar uh, as his father was diabetic and he was checking his father is checking blood sugar from glucometer regularly so this 45 year male also got the blood sugar checked at the same time and his blood sugar came out to be 283 he again repeated after 8 hour of fasting that is what is recommended right so he got it done again and now this time it came to be 202 okay and he does not have any symptom so what do you want to do next whether you want to start treatment first thing whether you want to label the patient as diabetes or not and then whether you want to start him on any treatment or just dietary management all those things should, uh, you should know so most important you should not label this patient as diabetes why because when you will see the diagnosis this blood sugar he has checked from glucometer so this patient should not be labeled as diabetes because he now again i'll stress because there are clinical implication there are medico legal implication of all this so you cannot label by a glucometer reading it may be not accurate you don't know what is happening how the sample was processed all those things i know it is accurate glucometer is accurate but for diagnosis glucometer should not be used okay there are strict criteria and two hours plasma glucose fasting plasma glucose hbnc all those are there so let's say this patient we have subjected to lab test and we got his fasting after 8 hour and this came out to be 96 and 5.5 so now that's this is like a hypothetical case so now this is normal he does not fall into even impaired range or pre diabetes range right so what do you want to do next do you want to repeat the test and when do you want to repeat the test so this is also a very important question let's say a patient who is non diabetic got his test everything is normal so when do you want to repeat the test because see most of the time what i have heard like most of the doctors would say okay now you repeat every year till your like we start treatment because you have a strong family history so what does the guideline suggest guideline does not suggest that you have to monitor yearly that's absolutely wrong guideline says ada i am talking about ada 2022 so this guideline says that you have to repeat the test after 3 years if the test is absolutely normal it's not for gdm and all those things if the test is normal like in a patient he does not have symptom he just got the test and it came out to be normal then you have to repeat this test after 3 years okay or earlier if he gains weight or he develops symptoms of diabetes then that's a totally different thing we are talking about here screening that means screening means patient is asymptomatic okay okay coming to another case so here we have 45 year male who got his fasting blood sugar from the lab as his father was diabetic in a routine health package so this is how now most of your opds are coming like they'll get all the tests from so many labs are available which are giving packages so they'll get all their sugars creatinine all their lipid profile thyroid everything will be there and they will come with all those tests and then they'll ask you okay now what to do next okay so this again this 45 year old male got such test in a health package and his fasting blood sugar was 172 and he does not have any symptom this was a routine test done so what do you want to do next do you want to start the treatment that it's already in the ranges of diabetes or you want to get uh, repeat fasting blood sugar get ogtt or and get hbnc what all do you want so just pause for a minute and think about it so the correct answer here is not to start the test and another question will you label this patient as diabetes because see the sugars are way high fasting we have made a cut off of 126 to label the patient as diabetic so this is way high 
But will you label the patient? No, obviously not. Why? Because see, this patient does not have any symptom. And what the guidelines is that you need to test. If the sugars are not very high and patient does not have symptoms, then you need at least two abnormal tests to label the patient as diabetes. So even with this report, you will not label the patient as diabetes. Like in previous case, we have discussed that glucometer, please don't label. Now, even this one test, please don't label the patient. So you can either get a repeat test, that is what the guidelines is. You can even get an OGTT, you can get an HBNC. So two abnormal tests is required. But I would not prefer OGTT here much because see, whenever the fasting is in diabetic range, most probably the uh, this two hour glucose, uh, plasma glucose will also be abnormal. But this test is slightly cumbersome because you have to measure and those 75 gram taking at once is really tough because many of your patient will puke. They will feel vomiting. That's the problem. So this OGTT, if you have clear cut, like it's very high and you can repeat the fasting. So what I would prefer in this patient is to get two tests like fasting will repeat. And also along with that, we should get an OG, uh, this HbA1c. So this will help you to get overall glycemic control because that is how what we are going to target. Like if HbA1c is pretty high, then you may even need to start two drugs because see one drug, there are all those data that, okay, this drug will reduce the HbA1c by this much and whatever targets are made that are according to HbA1c. So that is a must for this patient. And that is what the guidelines said that the initial visit, you should get this. Okay, so please don't start the treatment and even don't label the patient as diabetes. So this is what the guideline says. Unless there is a, these are the direct pickup lines. Unless there is a clear clinical diagnosis. Clinical diagnosis, that means there are symptoms. So patient with classical symptoms and random blood uh, plasma glucose more than 200. So they require two abnormal screening tests, either from the same sample or in two separate samples. Okay, so that is what the guideline says.